What is going on YouTubers, Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about something that I consider to be quite sad and very, very, but very upsetting as well. Well, as you know, or for those of you who have searched my About page, I started around 2010, so it has been approximately nine years by now. It is currently September 21st of 2019. And uh, my channel focuses on electronics, mainly cell phone devices, usually coming from China without a middleman. I review them, uh, of course I unbox them. I do all kinds of videos with these type of products. I also do speakers once in a while, cameras, drones, RC hobby stuff. And of course, it comes here that I also do uh, a portable AC unit. So in this case, I have two Zero Breeze reviews and Approximately three or four days ago, I started noticing some weird activity going on on these two videos. I started getting a lot of um, comments with hatred, a lot of comments say, oh, I'm here because of Thunderfoot. And I, I started questioning myself, who is Thunderfoot and what does he have to do with all these videos and all this thing going on recently? So I had a lot of questions. I had a lot of confusion. But anyways, this is the first generation of the Zero Breeze that I reviewed about a year ago. To be specific, it was September 10th of 2018, so it has been now more than a year, about a year and nine days approximately. Or actually, no, a year and 11 days, excuse me. So I started getting this type of traffic. So it says, nice false copyright claim. Well, this actually happened after what I'm about to tell you. But before this, I started getting comments about this product is not good, this product is garbage. But at the same time, I started getting these type of comments. It says, came here from Thunderfoot's video, um, or came here, yeah, from Thunderfoot's video about this video. So that was about three days ago with 155 likes. And again, the name Thunderfoot came many times. So I searched this name on YouTube itself, and I came to find out about this video. This is what started it all. And he claims that he's a scientist. Now, a scientist, first of all, knows their stuff a little bit better than Thunderfoot. And this is not an attack like he has done towards my channel. I'm just saying that a scientist would do a little bit more research into what a product really is, if it works, if it doesn't work, instead of going by basically some reviews that people left on him. Keep in mind, guys, that products, they have um, people, you know, companies, they hire people to do the good reviews, but then you also have people that get paid by other companies, usually competitors, especially since this is a uh, Kickstarter product, to give negative reviews and confuse you of whether or not you should support this product or if you should. So again, this is all a battle between companies, but I did review it and I show you guys with this thermometer right here, this is a surface thermometer, that the AC actually cools and it did work. My only mistake on my two Zero Breeze videos, which again, they are right here, is the fact that I simply never provided the ambient uh, thermometer uh, temperature. Now, I was planning to make another video when the official Mark 2.0 uh, of Zero Breeze comes out, which is the second generation. This was a prototype, it was an unfinished product, and I was gonna show you more details improving that this product actually works. So again, I don't have anything against you guys saying that this is a garbage product. If you wanna say that it doesn't work, that is, that's fine. But what happened is that this guy copied my videos and he copied one minute and 48 seconds. And it lasts about 28 minutes. So I start looking into the video and looking into the video. I was hoping that he was just gonna mention my name, be like, hey, there's a guy out there, my and Jay, he reviewed it, go ahead, check his review. It's, you know, bull crap, whatever. I was expecting that because of all the negative comments. But then I noticed that, in fact, he actually had copied my content. So he went into my channel and he downloaded my video without permission. So here I have proof of what I'm claiming. So up to here, up to minute 611, to be specific, I'm going to go ahead and mute this here for a second. By the way, this is not his photo either. Uh, he basically infringed uh, Zero Breeze videos and my videos and some other YouTubers thinking that this is fair use. But in fact, it's not, but I'm gonna be explaining that here in just a second. Anyways, from 611 all the way to 644, you guys can clearly see right here my video. I'm going to pause it now, and I'm going to unmute it, and I'm going to let it play here for a second, so that way you can hear that it's my voice, it's my content, and I have proof of it, and this is exactly what I claim as a copyright content or a copyright infringement against YouTube, and YouTube 
remove the uh, video, but I'll be talking about that in just a second. So anyways, let's go ahead and play this video real quick. Here for myself, because after a month of ordering this product here, which is the first portable AC unit to ever be built. All right, guys, so here we are inside of the RAM. This is another clip that you copied. And right now, you guys can see that I don't have the RAM turned on. I appreciate right here, 104. I'm not kidding about it. And the air blowing out of this unit right now is about 94, 95, but I just turned it on a few minutes ago. So let's give it about maybe 30 minutes or so and see if this thing's really functional. So first of all, after my research and after speaking to legal resources, meaning a lawyer, well, um, the fair use, right, it's fair use law, which is not really a law, it's called something else, but I can't remember right now because, again, I'm trying to make this video as detailed as possible so that you guys understand that I'm not guilty of committing fraud or a fraudulent claim against Thunderfoot. I did it, and I was actually correct. This is the uh, what YouTube considers... Uh, fair use and they are based on US law so here we can read that it says fair use is a legal doctrine that says well yes that's that's exactly the name it's not a law it's a doctrine that says you can reuse copyright protected material under certain circumstances without getting permission from the copyright owner it says check out the video below for help examples of fair use now I don't want to replay this here because I'm just so frightened that you know YouTube might say that I re-uploaded their content but if you guys play this video in which the link will be provided below, you will understand exactly what they mean about uh, fair use. So here they are explaining um, exactly what they played in this video. It says this remix combines short excerpts from different sources material to create a new message. It is really difficult to explain it in terms of words. You need to watch this video, which again comes from YouTube itself, about what fair use means. So anyways, here it says this remix combines short excerpts of different source materials and creates a new message about the effect of provocative rhetoric in times of economic crisis. So yes, this video is about economic crisis and they use this cartoon, which you know exactly who it is, to um, basically provide like a meme type of effect on the video. So again, watch the video and you will understand what fair use is. Now, in this case, uh, Thunderfoot used the clips that correspond to the title of the video. So he's talking about Zero Breeze, and he got my Zero Breeze video and put all my content in it to not just, I guess, prove a point or try to prove a point, but also to make me look like I just provided a bad review without any evidence. He hasn't even tried it. You can't accuse someone, okay? That's called defamation. You can't accuse someone of being, of being a liar or providing fake information without having evidence. You need to purchase the unit yourself. Now, a guy like Thunderfoot with so many subscribers, I'm assuming this guy has the means to go ahead and purchase the product and review it himself. But no, instead, he decided to steal videos, including my own, to prove a point and make money out of it. And on top of that, okay, if that's not enough, guys, he's not even giving me credits. And a lot of you guys that know exactly what's going on up to this point have said, Jay, why you didn't contact him about this video and said, hey, you know, remove it, uh, you know, or, or do something about it before giving the strike, the copyright claim in which YouTube consider a strike. Well, I didn't do that because of the fact that when he downloaded it and decided to use it, he didn't ask me either. So again, you know, I just took action based on what I saw. This is inappropriate. Okay, it doesn't matter out there how you guys see it. Maybe other countries have different laws. But here in the USA, okay, in the United States of America, where the headquarters of YouTube is located, which is California, they consider this not to be fair use. The next uh, timestamp that he copied is from 702 all the way to 712. So let's go here to 702. And I'm going to mute it here for a second. I don't want my his stuff to come up so let's go here that's 701 so let's go ahead and play it here for a second okay and there we go so I'm going to unmute it well actually I'm gonna let it play for a little longer I think he's speaking at that point and I think it start right there yeah 702 let me unmute it and listen for yourself it was at 104 so this little unit is definitely working guys again so as you guys just witnessed right there that clip lasted 
exactly 10 seconds. It was from 7.02 to 7.12. The next clip goes from 8.02. Check this out, guys. If you're really interested on what happened, you will just watch this entire video completely. So here we have uh, minutes 8. So I think he spoke for a little bit there. He was on my page. And let me give it, there we go. So here he started another clip. This one goes from 8.02 to 8.18, which is a total of 16 seconds. Listen to it. All right, guys, so there we have it for the testing of the Zero Breeze portable AC unit. This is amazing. This thing worked, guys. My truck was at about 105 degrees when I first started. 50 minutes later, my truck was about 84 to 85 degrees. So there we go. It was from 8.02 to 8.18. That's, again, another 16 seconds. And now in, um, in minute 8.28 all the way to 9.17, he did a 49-second video clip of the second generation. So let's go ahead and skip there. Guys, you're here from Maji and Jay. Today I am absolutely hyped up, guys. I got the second generation of the Zero Breeze that you guys have been watching in my channel for quite a while now. And this is the temperature blowing out. So what we're going to do is use my cell phone here as a timer. You're going to give it about 30 minutes. It definitely cooled down the truck to a comfortable temperature right now I can tell you that even though this thing is reading 87 that's because I'm measuring the seat okay let's check here the ceiling 91 and let me tell you guys I am mind blown with this particular unit and to me it looks amazing it works amazing and overall it's a great functional product that a lot of you guys can take advantage all right, guys, I'm going to stop it right here. As you have heard from 828 to 917, this clip has also been copied from my video as well. And again, this is not considered fair use. I don't know what happened between him and this other channel. Uh, I think it starts by the name of Venom. And this was about 10 years ago. But let me tell you something, Mr. Phil. Things have changed. Copyright laws have changed here and regulations on YouTube itself. And here's another fact about YouTube when they take down a video. They have live people, yes, live people like you and I watching this video. They are sitting in front of a screen checking on all the claims and making sure that whatever they claim is correct. And also YouTube gives you timestamps. So you have to tell them exactly what timestamps were uh, taken from you without permission. Once again, guys, this is not fair use. And I was correct, and my channel has actually suffered a lot of losses. This has been basically a, a, a pain and suffering. I have lost a lot of income. I lost a lot of subscribers that most likely I will never get again. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you here on my channel, my videos, and check out this right now, guys. Right now, I have on this video, I have 7.1% of likes. Never, never, since I've been making videos, never, ever... I had this percentage. My average is between 92 and 95 approximately. Uh, look at the other video here. This is about the bold and one. This one has only 342 likes and 892 dislikes. And now after I submitted that claim and his video got taken down, that's when I started getting emails. Yes, I got emails from Thunderfoot. I was at work at the time. I couldn't get to the message or the email on time because, again, I was working. I, I'm not allowed to use my cell phone. So on here, he writes to me, Dear Sir, you have about four hours to retract your bogus copyright claim against my video. That's the time it would take me to make the video my NJ exposed for abusing copyright system. So here it continues. It says, After that, I will file the counter notice. After which I will have the option to sue you for inappropriate use of the DMCA. Hey, look, again, I got legal advice, and this guy has it totally wrong. You are legally bound to consider fair use before filing a copyright notice. Of course I did. I watched the video, and it does not follow fair use, especially after using that sample from YouTube and reading exactly what fair use is. And, of course, I did some research before putting the video down. And then I got um, the email that I mentioned after the four hours. It says, you have until the end of the day before I pursue legal action. So it says, dear Malin and Jason, I have now filed a DMCA counter notification. If you do not try to sue me within 14 days, I will automatically win. I have the right to sue for damages. <clears throat> damages, okay? If you know anything about copyright law, you would know 
If you try to sue me, you will lose. In my video, as in backup, until the end of the day, I will write to the Electronic Frontiers Foundation to see if they will be interested in taking the case to sue you for abuse of the DNCA and damages. Okay, listen to this. So anyways, I um, went ahead and uh, I think it was, uh, hold on, I think it was a few minutes later, let me see here, I replied. Okay, yeah, this is my first reply to him. I said, Dear Phil, why the need of making that negative video towards my channel or threatening messages? I'm not a warlike person, meaning that I was willing to negotiate with him, and I actually said it on there, says, I said, and always willing to work with you. Um, I contacted many sources to educate myself about the copyright strike, and as a content creator like yourself, I had the right to protect the channel, which I did. That's all. No need to proceed with threats and intimidation. If all you want is for me to remove the strike, I will. But all you had to do was ask in a peaceful manner. I always try, I said, I always try to provide the most detailed videos to create confidence and credibility to my viewers, not scam them. I'm a sole provider at home, and as a father of four, which is true, and a daughter with severe autism, I just, uh, I am just trying to protect the channel and the small assets that we get. Once again, Mr. Phil, I am willing to settle this in a friendly manner. So I was always friendly even when he made that video. But can you please remove the attacking video? That's all I asked for. I said, can you please remove the attacking video? This is when everything started. But once again, my right, my, um, I'm sorry, I said, but once again, my copyright claim was not to falsely accuse you of a personal or a personal attack. I wait your response. Then he sends this one here. Just read it. Dear Jason, this is not a negotiation. If you don't want to get sued, you have limited option. You are in this situation because of legal action you chose to take against me. Again, at this point, it's not fully legal. I'm not taking him to court. I'm not hiring a lawyer. I'm not doing any of this. This is just a claim that was under investigation. Your interpretation of tone is not relevant here. It's very sad you have limited income and a family. But how does this justify you abusing the copyright law to impede my ability to earn a living on YouTube? First of all, again, I didn't abuse the system. And second, this didn't impede your ability to make money on YouTube because it was your first strike, at least in this particular scenario. And I know that your videos kept um, being monetized. You took legal action against me. This has consequences. I have filed a legal response. The only question is if I continue to sue or not. I says you waive the right to call yourself peaceful or not like or not warlike when you abuse the copyright law to take down my video. You want to get back a peaceful footing and solve this issue in a friendly manner? I suggest withdrawing the false copyright claim and issuing a sincere public apology. So now he's basically asking me to humiliate myself like he did to that kid 10 years ago. Again, I don't know exactly what were the facts there, but here he's basically asking for the same thing. So this guy likes to humiliate, he likes to intimidate, he likes to bully people, and this is, again, against the law here in the United States of America. I would suggest model on a Venom Fang. So you can see right here, that's the guy that uh, basically was the victim before. Apology on your channel. I'm a reasonable guy, I act in good faith, and will be reciprocated. File harassment, look at this, another, this is another threat. File a harassment legal action against me, I will pursue you with the full extent of the law. I mean, at this point, why is he so scared about me and specifically talking about harassing? Okay, I never threatened him with um, saying that I was going to do any actions against him. So why is he so worried right here? So here, once again, we see the video that he created not too long ago, and he called it How to Destroy Your YouTube Channel Made Easy, basically making fun of the situation once again. So you guys have seen that on my channel, even though I can still upload videos, I haven't provided any attacks. I haven't said anything bad about this person. You know, it's all the contrary. I tried to settle this the best way possible, but he took that as an opportunity to continue making videos and humiliate me and keep putting people against my channel. This guy has a lot of followers. This is not a professional YouTuber. This guy calls himself a scientist, and honestly, I don't see anything of science in him. All I see is pure evil, and he has bad intentions. With this being said, let me know what you think about the story that I told you everything that is going on with proof. And I'm sorry for this, guys, but I will continue to make videos, but I have to take action. Something needs to happen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next one.